Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, be sure to hit that subscriber button. Let's grow this family together, obviously. Okay, so I received a package from Merit Beauty and I'm so excited to try these products. First of all, can we talk about how adorable this bag is? It comes in this little bag. Like you could, I totally carry this like a hobo bag and it's adorable. Coincidentally, this uh, matches my vibe today. <laughs> so Merit Beauty, this brand has been around for over a year now, but it's my first time trying it. I don't own any of the products and immediately, what drew me to them was their less is more like whole campaign. I absolutely love the less is more like whole vibe. That's my preference when it comes to makeup. I love all makeup. I love heavy makeup, light makeup, but if I had to choose, my go-to every day would be that very no makeup makeup look where you're using minimal products and you still look flawless. I love when skin still looks like skin, your features still look like yourself, and you just, you're enhanced a little bit, but you still look and feel flawless. So thanks to Merit Beauty, I got a bunch of products in here. They recently released a signature lip, which is supposed to be a lightweight lipstick. I got three of those that I'm gonna swatch all three for you guys, and some blush and some concealer contour situation in here as well. I will list all the details in the description box below as well as a link to get to Merit Beauty if you wanna try any of these products. Again, I've never tried this, so this is my first time. You're gonna get my honest first impression in this video. If you're interested in seeing me try these products for the first time, then please continue to watch this video. Okay, so the first two products that I'm grabbing and I wanna talk about is the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. I made the mistake of thinking these are concealers and like contour sticks, but it's actually a complexion stick, so you can really use it for anything but I got two colors that will be used for like concealing and contouring so I got a very light color and a very dark color but I just ordered a in-between color for my skin if I want to cover up anything else so that's coming it's on the way this is a lightweight buildable like satin finish product um, and this brand is cruelty free and all vegan so that's honestly the cherry on top how cool is that because I have a little discoloration I'm just going to use a tinted moisturizer to kind of even out my skin and then we'll use everything else uh, from this brand I'm just going to take some primer oil free primer this is just a Laura Mercier and I'm going to tap it into my skin so it's kind of perfected. I'm just tapping this into my skin and this is just going to help with my pores I recently got a facial so my pores are a little bit more expanded and visible visible now when I'm usually doing makeup and I'm going for the no makeup makeup look I just use a tinted moisturizer my favorite is the Laura Mercier the um, natural skin perfector and I promise you you don't even need a lot I just have redness kind of on my cheeks I'm gonna just cover those up and that's it and again this is gonna just make it look and feel like skin I take the slightest amount and I just kind of put it right here only on the bottoms of my cheek where I'm red literally nowhere else very simple, very, very lightweight, and it looks all kind of one color now for the most part. So now we're going to try the products. Their complexion sticks are $38, so pretty average within the market for makeup. I love the packaging. It's a beautiful gray color. I love the colors within this entire brand, the neutrals and the tans, and it's very 70s. I'm really, really into it. And it's a nice stick kind of like this. There's one side where you get the product and you can apply it directly to your face. I picked up the color Silk. Again, it's a lot brighter because I bought it uh, to use as concealer and to kind of perfect um, the discoloration on my skin or like blemishes that I have. Grabbing this complexion stick, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it directly to my face and then we'll blend it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out and see how it looks all together. Okay, so that's blending nice. I'm, It's a little dry, but you just gotta keep blending. You can probably even go in with your fingers, honestly. Feels a lot better on the skin like this, but it's not bad, it just dries up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the other side before it dries up too quick. You can see like it's not really moving too much, which is annoying. You can see it's kind of not moving as fast, but again, it's, it is a stick, it's not liquid, so that's fine. I'm just gonna use, honestly, my hands, because it's meant to, you're not supposed to use too much, and I don't think you're supposed to use it like an actual concealer. Like, don't go in too heavy. It's buildable, which is what it says, so I may have applied too much too quick, but overall, it, the color looks good. I like to brighten up the center of my face, so I also put it on my forehead. And yeah, it's blending nice with my fingers, way nicer with my fingers. It may just have been, I put too much too quick. 
Okay, so it blended out overall really nice. I actually loved using my fingers. I think the warmth of my fingers melted the product a little bit more. It felt a little bit dry, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm not familiar with like dry concealer. I love when my concealer just like blends right away. But again, it's not a bad thing. It is a stick, so if you have like darker circles or you have more like you know puffiness and stuff you might enjoy this better just because it's thicker so it might really cover the areas that you want to cover and it's buildable so you don't go in too much like I did immediately start out light and then blend it out with your fingers or a damp beauty blender and so far so good again it still looks like skin and it, it set really nicely I don't even think I need to use a powder to set it which is nice okay so I grabbed the same complexion stick in the color cacao I love using a stick like this to contour my face it's just my favorite I don't know why it just applies easier. I'm going to start by applying it and then blending it. Then I'll apply it to the other areas of my face too. So it's nice and pigmented. You could see like one little swipe and it's totally on there. This is a darker chocolate color and I'm going to continue to use my fingers. Hmm. that blended nice and smoothly I love that and it's bringing color back into your face and I'm just kind of putting it all over my cheek because I don't want it to have a sharp contour I just want to look like nice and tan it's really pretty and it still looks like skin so I love that I literally like I could see my skin and that's important if you want that less is more look Wow I'm just gonna bring some color back to my forehead as well. I'm honestly into using my hands right now. Like I just feel like it does the job quicker and better and like you're able to move things where they need to be. This color is beautiful. It's so tan and like it makes my skin look warm and back to life. The concealer was a little too bright but overall everything blended together nicely. Look at that! I'm not doing like your traditional hardcore contouring. I'm literally just like adding color to my face. It blends so nicely. I'm very impressed with how easily this blended. Like there's no harsh lines and it didn't dry, at least with the contour it didn't. Um, I think I just applied too much of the, of the concealer color. When you do it, immediately blend it, then apply it somewhere else if you have the patience for that, um, just because I think it sets better on your skin that way. Like it looks good, it looks very natural. I love, love, love it. So those are the complexion sticks. The next thing I wanna use is these blush situations this is their flush balm i got two of them and it's used for the cheeks i think you could put it everywhere i think you could put on your lips honestly tell me this isn't the most adorable thing you've ever seen this is in the color beverly hills and this one is in the color cheeky i'm so into cream blush lately and i loved these i think it's the cutest idea you can use it even as like a lip balm and you can apply it directly to your cheeks these are i'm so into it these are 28 dollars pretty normal pretty average for like blush so let's try them i'm really excited i did get two but i'm gonna try the color beverly hills it's just more my color this is more the color cheeky is more has a plum undertone more red and then the color beverly hills is more just my vibe look at that it's like a it's like a really pretty pink orange like natural just whatever you want to call it okay so i'm just gonna put this directly on my cheek and yeah Ooh, just blending it this is really rosy and peachy oh my god and it's dewy like it's not dry it's a really pretty color it's very natural it almost looks as rosy as my natural cheeks but i love it Ooh, I love these. So I'm actually going to go in a little bit with the uh, cheeky color, which is a lot darker than that. I'm just going to go out so you can see it. I'm just going to go ahead and add some more. I'm like touching it onto my cheek like that. I feel like, oh, she's pretty. Oh, these two mix together. Yeah, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Just like this. This is so pretty. It's like so rosy and natural looking. And again, it looks like skin. I love it. You can build it. You can do less. But I love that. I love the way it feels. And I'm not even going to set it with anything because I want it to, to maintain that dewy look. Okay, now finally, let's get into their recently launched lipsticks. This is, again, their lightweight lipstick. First of all, I want to talk about this packaging again. It, this is so beautiful and chic. It's heavy. And it's they definitely put time and effort into this packaging. I love... The top comes off like this, then you have the gold lipstick and you just 
swipe up. This is a $26 lipstick. It's supposed to be a lightweight. It's not gonna be a thick matte or lip gloss type application. It's supposed to be light wear. And again, go with our minimal vibe that we have going on. This is the first color I picked up. It is Millennial. And if you know me, you know my nudes and pe peaches and oranges is kind of what I navigate towards. Um, so this is similar to that. And I'm just gonna apply it directly to my lips, no lip liner or anything, and we'll see how we like it. That is really pretty. And I see what they mean by it being lightweight. It feels like there's nothing on my lips. And also, it's it's like a lipstick, but you kind of have to build it. So it doesn't apply immediately on very heavy. And you can wear it lighter. You can, wear, you can keep applying to make it darker. It has like a satin finish. Okay, and you already know I have to take the hair down because we get the final look with the hair in place and it just makes more sense. Okay, here we are and we're loving it. This lipstick really looks good with the cheek situation that I have going on. So those blushes that I applied on my cheek pair really well with this Millennial lipstick. But I cannot get over how light this feels. Definitely true to what it's preaching. Feels good. And it looks good. Oh my god, I didn't even wear a lip liner. Okay, I'm gonna wipe it off. And it comes off real easily, as you could tell, because it's such a lightweight. Okay, the next color that I have is the color Cabo. Again, I love this packaging. It's very chic and it makes you feel bougie and it's just a vibe. So this is more of a red orange color. And I love a good red or like an orange coral color, but I hate when it's too chalky and thick. So because this is lightweight, I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna look a lot better. So let's just dive right into it. Um, we love her. This, and I'm still so impressed at how good these match and pair with these blushes. And my skin, by the way, looks really good. Like, it, I just, I look so natural looking with makeup on. I don't know how to explain that. This color is so pretty. Again, lightweight. Oh, so soft on the lips. Feels so good. I don't think with this, you'll develop like a line. You know how sometimes lipstick gives you that line because it's so lightweight? On the color, it's buildable. You can do one layer and it'll be like a lot less than this. I did a couple layers because I just, I'm extra and it looks good. And I'm very picky with coral and red, but this is more coral and I love it. It's perfect for the summer. Imagine this with like big beachy waves, bronzer and just like some blush. Okay, let's do the last color that I have. And I also love how easily it wipes off. I hate, especially lipstick that's red or a different color when you're literally scrubbing your lips off because it won't come off. Like, look at this, it's gone. Okay, the final color I have here is in the color Baby. It's called Baby. Now this is more of a like brown undertone pink lipstick, which I love. We're here for that. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this directly on our lips and see how this looks. So that's just one layer and then I build it. Like I do one more layer because I like to cover all my lips. Yes, yeah, so this is nude. We're, we're nude here. It's more brown undertone, which I like, right? If you don't, if you like more subtle and you don't want more of like a peach undertone or a red undertone like the other two, you're gonna love this. This looks so good just like that with my regular makeup that I have on. You can even pair this with like a pretty brown lip liner if you want it. It's a pretty center nude color but it's so nice. Like I'm so impressed with these lipsticks. Hands down, 10 out of 10. All these lipsticks I recommend. These were just recently dropped, so this is their newest product. The Lightweight Signature Lipstick. I'm gonna get more colors. I love the packaging. I love the application. I love the way they feel. I feel like I can go eat a sandwich and it won't move. And those are all the products that I got from this brand, and overall, I'm so impressed. I will say my favorite are the lipsticks. The blushes are super fun. The application is so easy. The fact that I could blend everything with my hands, and I don't look like I'm oily, and I, it's sat perfect on my skin. Keep in mind, I haven't put any powder on anything. I literally went in with everything with my fingers and the product, and that's it. Oh, and I'm an oily person, so this is weird that it's just like it looks and sets real nicely on my skin. My skin looks like skin, which is the concept behind this brand, you know, less is more. The complexion sticks, I love, I love the contour. I'm looking forward to trying the regular color that I ordered for my overall face. I think the concealer color may have been, I just applied too much. It felt a little chalky and like, um, I had to really get in there and blend. When I used my fingers, it was fine. Love the way that they feel and the application of it. 
and I still recommend it. I think it's good. Just definitely find a color that works for you. And they have a selection of colors. And remember, it's essentially for your complexion. So I think it's more so catered to just like blemishes and like covering up your skin and making everything even. But you can definitely use darker ones for the contour, which I love. I will list all of the products that I've used in this video in the description box below. And I will also list a link if you want to try any of these. You can go directly through that link and use it. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.